What's up, everyone? It's Chicks in the Office with Rhea and Fran giving you that Friday energy on a Wednesday. Hopefully, everyone is having an amazing start to their week. And it's actually Wednesday when we're recording. <laughs> sure, sure is. What's wrong with that? You know nothing what I mean? All, what is wrong with that? Not, nothing we at all. usually record yes. our Wednesday shows on Tuesday. Yep. It is Wednesday, and the podcast and is going really out Wednesday. today. I like that. Yeah. I like when people get it right away. What can I say? That's true. Quick turnaround. I like like the, the day quick of. Quick turnaround like for we, the game. They're hearing it the day of. Sorry. Sue me. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. No, you're good. This podcast is presented by Elf Cosmetics. We are absolutely loving Elf these days. Love. We've been talking to you guys about it for the past couple episodes. Hopefully you've gotten the chance to run to the store, pick up a couple of products, test them out yourself. We have a couple of our favorites. Personally, I'm a lip liner gal. I love my lip liners and I love the brown lip liner that Elf has. I also love their brow gel for my laminated eyebrows that I do need to get done still this week that's going to happen but in the meantime the brow laminating gel is helping me get through that and so many other great products Uh, we talked about the cleansing balm which just really feels really good on your skin when you want to take your makeup off for the day the primer elf is just that great brand with great products all for an affordable price yeah and I love like I've been using a ton of these products for a long time so that's great but I also love that you can use certain things for a more casual day you can jazz it up if you want like a full glam look you know that power grip primer anytime I need like my foundation my makeup to stay all day that power grip primer fantastic we love all the elf products Um, and like I said super easy and convenient their brushes. I want to talk mm-hmm. about their brushes. Great brushes. But their brushes are fantastic. Mm-hmm. Full brush set. I have them all. They're amazing. The ultimate blending brush. You can do anything with mm-hmm. that brush. Truly, the blush. Uh, the blush. The brush that does it all. Um, we're, we have some exciting things coming up with Elf. That yes, we do. Can't wait to talk about. And you can learn more at ElfCosmetics.com or on the Elf Cosmetics app. So make sure you guys are shopping Elf Cosmetics and using all the amazing products that they have. Yes, and let us know if you do. How are you Your doing? energy level is higher than mine at the moment. Yeah, it seems to be in this whole room. Yeah, I had to, hey, it's early. It's early for the squad. Yeah, it is early. Earlier than, earlier than usual. Mm-hmm. I was excited to get back in here. That is that is a, um, a cute sentiment, like a, a cute thing that you do. Like what? if you're sick or you've been gone for a couple of days, maybe vacation, <laughs> you, you, you skip in here, you got a little pep in your step. I'm excited to be back there. I know, I know. I mean, I just, like, when you're feeling sick for so many days yeah. in a row, and then all of a sudden you're on the mend, you're like, I can't wait to get back into the swing of things. That is true. Because you really can't do anything besides sit around and watch TV. And, like, that gets old after a couple of days. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I have all this pent-up energy. Yeah. Anyways, I screenshotted something this morning on my way to work, and it's really not groundbreaking, but I will say this. It wasn't like a, a somebody, wasn't a meme on somebody's no, story. No, 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 don't worry. I, I really, really, <laughs> yeah. I really vetted so I like, it. And now, this sounds familiar. If, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I screenshotted it. I thought something, I saw something that was pretty cool this morning on the internet. <laughs> It's like the worst time to get me is like early in the morning like, on my way to work. Yeah. You get me with something. No, it really was just something that it it, it just hit me. And um, maybe for listening, if you're listening to this and you have kids, you might know a little bit better about this. I did not even think about the fact with all the new technology that we have these days, you know, like when we were not in school, that kids are getting DoorDash and Uber Eats for lunch. To school? To school. I feel like that shouldn't be allowed. So that's kind of like this tweet was going viral about how um, somebody wrote, like, if we've truly lost are, the are, art. Are we in, are, what age are we talking about, though? Like high school? Like high school. Oh, maybe. I, and I, I would don't. assume, I, I assume seventh graders. <laughs> yeah. Like, if I had to think of the person who's, like, really fighting to get DoorDash, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking of a seventh grader my, who wants my McDonald's. My guess, would, though, would be, like, that's, like, high school kids who have ha- who have the freedom 
of like maybe going out to lunch. Right, but if you don't have the freedom and you yeah. like get it ordered. But I saw a tweet go viral and it was like in quotes, if my child can't door dash, neither can the teacher. And then they wrote, we've truly lost the art of kids understanding they can't do what adults can do. If you can door dash, you could pack your child a lunch. Listen, I don't know why this popped up on my, like, went viral. But yeah, I was like, you know what? Debate. That is such an interesting debate that doesn't matter to us. Yeah. But I would be interested in hearing, like, people who have kids, right. what their what stance is. What the parents would be. What, what, are the parents with this tweet, like, yeah, the teacher is at work and the right. student is at school. Like, there's a difference between. And what kind of school, like, what kind of school is it, you know? Is it, and there were is it a school that provides lunch lunch right. for everybody or like is it i think you know, that's and mandatory the, at and school. the kids are still <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think they no, have but to some, provide some lunch. some like some schools public school yeah i'm saying like some private schools you like opt into a meal plan opt out of a meal Isn't plan it like, crazy you have crazy you have to pay for lunch at school yeah well like, if it's a public for, school you for you know, yeah, oh, a public free. school, private school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's, I mean the food's not free, but like the school is free. Yeah, yeah. Well, right, not really with right. Taxes. I'll be honest, could not know less about how this all works. No, I don't. Like, it just, I it just I hit me where I, just I was do like, do not have that. Do not have that. Those facts floating in my no, head. No, neither do I. It was more just like crazy to think about how different it is now yeah for no and the argument and the like, argument they that door the dash, teacher, they got iPads like, instead of textbooks. Working. But yeah, the teacher's she, at work. She <laughs> she may need the quick like her. She may need the hour during her lunch to like do stuff. And right. Maybe she needs to get her fucking lunch to deliver. Yeah, I just thought it was so. I'm like, wow, re- you know, it really is different. And you always heard your parents say like, oh, times have changed since I was in school. Yeah. And now we're becoming those people that are like, oh my god, times have really changed since we were in school. Yeah. No. I and uh, just just an added feels like quite the privilege for a, for a kid. Like that sounds like a real real privilege. Oh, you just kid. have your parents' credit card to, to order have, lunch. Yeah. To, <laughs> have to pull up his i pull up his phone and and order DoorDash. That was one thing that never flew with my family. It was like I never had access to my parents' credit card. But if you were one of those kids that did, you were one of the lucky ones because yeah. then you'd be one of the kids ordering DoorDash to, <laughs> to your school. Yeah, that's that's that gets rid of the whole like when you would have a doctor's appointment and come back when the oh and my, oh and, like, that was awesome yeah. when you ha- when you had a doctor's appointment and then you're like mom but it's lunchtime I have to get something yeah you go out to lunch and you like your mom takes you through the drive through really quick before she drops you back off you're like go back you're like I had McDonald's yeah, <laughs> yeah I just had a Sprite no big deal um all right anyways just, uh, that's really making me like but it's also like. Isn't there a phone? Isn't there? I mean, I know kids are on their phones in school, mm-hmm. obviously, but everybody's like pulling out their phone in class to make sure their lunch gets delivered on time. I don't know how that works because phones were prohibidato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. If you had your phone out, you were done for. I that was the only so thing I good. got in trouble for. I got so one good time. At, uh, we it wasn't like it was you would get in trouble but it wasn't like the end of the world but boy was i good at texting on my mm-hmm. blackberry in my uh in my pocket on my sweatshirt yeah. like a, or right. or even in my skirt pocket yeah one hand exactly one hand mean. one hand one hand we had a bla- we had to wear a blazer yeah so the blazer pockets were really big yeah and so i was re- like senior year I was texting a boy from another school and I was yeah. obsessed with like texting him while he was at school and I was at school and I couldn't stop. <laughs> like, <laughs> like we were just like, I would just text all day long yeah. and I think back and I'm like, you were probably so obvious about it. And then I got caught. It was the only time I ever got detention in all of high school it was my senior year. I thought I was being, you know, cool, texting, yeah. whatever. Boom. I got bopped and I had to go to detention. Not even a warning, just detention. Oh, from immediate. Yeah, well, no, no, no. No, there's, we didn't. There, there was no. Kellenberg Memorial did not have warnings when it came yeah. to a phone. Wow. They, they brought the whip out. <laughs> Pretty we, much. We, like, from time to time would have, like, a phone. When you would go, go in, the teacher would be like, phone garage. Everybody, everybody oh. put their phone. 
in the little crate. Oh, you have to like give up your phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But See, that, like, that like, was not a thing that lasted long. Yeah, they like they were like you have to keep it in your locker. Blah blah blah. Yeah. I only did that my freshman year. I also think back to like things that I did, and it genuinely makes my skin crawl because I'm like I just wouldn't you know risk getting in trouble like that now where I would go my senior year to the bathroom and like this is when pet like weed pens really started taking off like people really discovered them and I'd go to the bathroom like during study hall and just like smoke a weed pen in the bathroom and Wait, it actually age were you? like 12th grade and it actually gives me like Oh, like when I think back to it, I'm like, oh my God, that's so scary. Like you could have gotten expelled. Wow, like I didn't what? Know that, that that existed at that time. Well, it just started getting popular. Yeah. Like, and I was like, oh, what's this? And I we mean, would pass around study every hall. Every kid in the world is has a fucking vape on. Right, and they go in the bathroom now. now. And I and I'm genuinely <laughs> I mean, like, weed is a different thing, I guess. Right. But like I'm saying, just like I think every kid has a vape on them. Probably. Is, like, yeah. You know, that's another that's another yeah. topic. Yeah, that is. I get like you ever think about something you did though? And, yeah, yeah. And, and you're like, oh my god, I did that. Yeah. There are so many things I think back to. I'm like, oh my god, you really could have gotten in trouble. You could have gotten expelled. Your life could have been ruined. Yeah, mine is like more like reckless, not reckless, but just some driving maneuvers that I definitely pulled at mm. certain points, like mm -hmm. trying to get to school on time. That yeah. I'm like. Mm dangerous <laughs> past like went through a couple stop signs yeah yeah i got my nails done yesterday you don't I like i really them. don't like them why let me see i them. don't know i i wanted to you know i was like oh i'll do like a little i like French. them my problem is so, stop hiding them let me see them a little bit clearer well from far away they look okay yeah I like from them. close up though I never, I never really get French manicures, but anytime I see somebody with one, I'm like, oh my God, that looks so cute. Mm -hmm. I want to do that. I was like, oh, I'll do it. But I don't necessarily, like my nails are long, so I don't necessarily love when the whole white part of your nail is covered with when, white. Right, when they make it real thick. When it's real thick. Yeah. Like, I don't really love the look of that. Yeah. But I don't, I like the look of a natural base, not like a really pinky base. Mm -hmm. But with the natural base, you can see my nail. Mm -hmm. And it's driving me fucking crazy. Like, I'm like, because maybe I'm just used to seeing fake, like, press-on nails and yeah. stuff. Not fake nails, but, like, just even just press-on nails where it's, mm -hmm. like, the natural color and then the French mm -hmm. cute little tip on the top. And there's no, like, you can't see you can't through see the, nail. the nail. Yeah. And as seeing through the nail with the French tip is, like, oh my God, it's you're honestly, like, it's, you're like clenching your face no it's get, i don't know what it's tapping into some ocd <gasps> that situation happens, yeah. that i'm like like when she was doing them in the salon i was like <gasps> i was like oh my god i'm gonna hate these yeah and what sucks is you know i'm i'm gonna have to deal I, with these I for like many see weeks what you mean now. you know what i'm saying like like i just wish this nail. whole thing was a universal base i'm so because now i can see my nail and i'm like oh no Honestly, and it hurts every time I look at it. So. You can go back though. You don't have to wait. No, I know, but we it, need that, to, then it like hurts. We need you know? to start being better about picking our nail color. We can't complain all the time. Yeah. Mine, oh my god, look at these things. They're so yeah, bad right now. I mean, I I had mine for a long time. I had mine for like a month, and I went yesterday. Um, but like other than that, like my cuticles look fantastic, but it's just the just the the tips. I almost, but it's just like, you know, you get to a certain point in the, in the manicure process, there's just no turning back, especially when it's gel, you know, I'm like this, this shit's glued on, like, I'm not going to say, oh, he's, what are you going to start over? Like, mm -hmm. it's a, it's just, that, that would be a terrible process. Right. You don't want to have to do the whole thing over yeah. again. Yeah. Well, so now I'm stuck with these. I hope you make it through the next three weeks. I know. I think you will. I think you're going to, you're going to. I'm hoping eventually I'll just get used to it, even though will. I don't like them, but. From here, they look fabulous. <sighs> I'll never do this again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into the topics for today. We're going to be talking about the VMAs, which I'm glad we waited to record because there was so yeah, much that like, happened yeah. at the VMAs, or not so much, but things to talk about. It was an event that happened. Right, it was. Um, a little back and, not back and forth, but a little tidbit happened with Raquel and Sandoval on Instagram. Just interesting. Dancing with the Stars cast was revealed and Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey rumors about them dating. Are they, are they not? Who knows? Let's get into it. Let's start off with the VMAs. 
All right, we are headed into wedding season. You guys know we're planning weddings. We're going to weddings. So we see it from all sides. When you're getting married, it's not just about the big day. It's about all the days along the way. And Zola's here for all of them. If you've been to a wedding wedding recently, you definitely know Zola. You maybe even got one of their beautiful invites on your fridge right now. Or you bought a gift off someone's registry and thought, ooh, maybe I'll get that for myself as well. When you're planning a wedding, you suddenly realize what else Zola has. It's where you'll find your venue and all your wedding vendors. It's where you'll create your free wedding website so guests can RSVP and buy you those amazing gifts, but there's so much more, like a budget tracker, a tool to grab all your guest addresses, checklists to keep you focused. Zola has amazing features. I've been on Zola looking at everything that they have. Um, It's a great way to just keep everything all in one place. You can also turn to Team Z, Zola's free expert advisors to answer any questions you have along the way or the Zola community full of other engaged couples who know what you're going through. Start planning at Zola.com. That's Z-O-L-A dot com. All right, let's get into the VMAs, the Video Music Awards, MTV's biggest night last night uh, that happened. (laughs) And you know what I liked about this was the audience POV, which I don't know if that's been done before, but the reason there were so many audience shots was because there was like a live camera on Twitter that just focused on the audience. And so therefore you were able to see Everybody's great for us, not great for the celebs. Not great for the celebs. And we they already like know it. Selena Gomez <laughs> is not happy about it because she posted on her Instagram story. Yeah, um, that was like five hours ago. I actually screenshotted it at like 8 a.m. and it said four hours ago. And she yeah. wrote, I will never be a meme again. Be a meme I'd again. rather sit still than be dragged for being myself. Much love. Um, I, I, I don't really get what she's saying. I think what she's saying is like, she she doesn't like people taking her face and like turning it into something that's not yeah which you know just happens at oh no at one awards wants shows. to be me nobody is safe literally I don't, I don't ever think. At, at these at a football game yeah at a baseball game at an award show you are not safe yeah. even as a normal person if you are caught in the wild making a funny face yeah and like by the way all good reactions like every reaction she had made sense mm-hmm. i know there was the, the the olivia rodrigo one was out of context because i think that was coming from a place of worry mm-hmm. and people thought she, like on the internet people thought she was plugging her ears <laughs> so they were like oh my god she's plugging her ears listening to olivia <laughs> rodrigo it's like no that's she was like stressed yeah because olivia like did a moment that mm-hmm. was like the vampire music video, but if you didn't really know that, like it looked like the stage was about to mm-hmm. catch on fire and she yeah. got p- ushered off the stage. So people in the crowd were nervous. They didn't really know what was going on. Uh, Slade Gum was being one of them. Right, and so I, I just am confused about dragged, and now she may be seeing things that we're not seeing. She yeah, could yeah, be yeah. being dragged somewhere yeah. and we don't see it because we're not Selena Gomez and it's like affecting her directly. But uh, I feel like this happens often where Selena Gomez like shows up to an event and then after she's like, why did I go to that? But she looked amazing. She did love like, that dress. She that dress was awesome. She so fucking good. Her dress was awesome. Her hair, her makeup, like everything about her looked outstanding. As soon as she hit the carpet, I was like, whoa, she may have been like my personal best dress favorite look of the night there were a couple sabrina carpenter i really loved i'm actually loving every sabrina carpenter look lately Yeah, they've been really good Um, and i liked madeline klein's a lot also. madeline klein beautiful gorgeous just selena gomez was like whoa wowza uh i liked kelsey ballerini's red dress also yeah her, her and chase stokes went with a little matching a little matching vibe they're very cute and then of course taylor swift was there and she showed up in like a black Everyone thought it was a reputation type dress. Very had, reputation. Like, chains, a lot of jewelry. Like, a lot of jewelry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if one thing is for sure, it's that Taylor Swift is going to have a good time at these war shows. I actually she should, really you know? appreciate I, that about I, I, her. I do too. And people can make fun of her. Ha ha. She does it because she knows the camera's on her. All this stuff. Like, she knows she's going into this night, coming home with the Ton of, ton of awards. She won everything. Mm-hmm. It's like when you know you're just showing up, you're going to win everything. You don't have to perform. Mm-hmm. You're just showing up to collect your moon men and go home. Like, yeah, you're going to have a couple 
co- couple cocktails. She has, sing along to some songs. She has to be exhausted going up on stage that many times to receive an yeah. award. I mean, it's exhausting to have to come up with people to thank every single time. <laughs> exactly. You know? When you're, she when you're won, winning that many awards. She won artist. Artist of the song, year. Video of the year. Song of the year. Best video. pop. Best direction. Best cinematography. Best visual effects. Album of the year and show of the summer like they, they yeah. i think added a category at, with show, of, show the of the summer show of the summer <laughs> and that I mean, was look, the error story 100 percent. i absolutely think that they did that um she looked like she was having a great time but i appreciate that about her because it's okay yeah. to have fun at these award shows it totally is some of these people that have stick up their asses yeah. they sit there they're yep. angry yep. they won't you know yep. dance a little groove a little bit stand up and cheer for people like they're just like yeah. miserable people at these award shows all buttoned up and they don't want to let loose and have fun yeah my two favorite moments my two favorite taylor moments were oh i guess there was maybe three was her freaking out about NSYNC. Yeah, she was shaking. She was, which I get, you know, that's, that is super fair. The, uh, singing every word to all of Demi Lovato's songs in Mm -hmm. her performance. Love that. Mm -hmm. Love that vibe. Not really sure, like, what kind of vibe Taylor Swift and Demi Lovato have, you know? But I just love that Taylor, was like, Taylor's like, I fucking know these songs, I'm gonna get up and sing them. And three was her cup getting stuck in the cup holder mm-hmm. <laughs> was very funny. And it's just, it's just the simple things, you know, it was just a little plastic cup got stuck in a deep cup holder. She's trying to mm-hmm. try to sneak it out, get her wine. And it looked like she was mixing a couple, a few different kind of cocktails I she was, was like, having. I was like, man, my head hurts. Looked like watching. maybe uh, some kind of clear cocktail. And then yeah. maybe she moved on to wine at a certain maybe point. Maybe it was a little vodka. Maybe it was a little yeah. tequila. Maybe it was a little wine. I All know. I know is she was having a good time. And yep. why wouldn't you why? when you know that you're collecting every word? Most she knows she's winning these awards. Most like you're not. Of, Taylor Swift isn't yeah, showing up. Most amount of video of the year awards um, ever for somebody. She's got the most. Did she tie herself? Because she tied. It's tied. I don't know. I thought I saw that it was that she's won the most for four videos. She's won it four times. Oh, the video, the specific video awards, not video just, of the year award. Oh, okay, not just the VMAs. No, no, no. Okay, no, got, just, it, got it, got it, got it. Not the most via total of VMAs. Just the just actual the most video, yeah, yeah, yeah. video of the year mm-hmm. awards. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, yeah, I l- like just having a great time. Love it. Yeah. Did was there any run in with Olivia Rodrigo? I didn't see. They did not interact. No. She cheered for Olivia when she yeah. won. Like she should. I mean, I mean if, she, has if to. she didn't cheer for her, then obviously that would become a thing. So obviously she's gonna cheer for right. her. At the end of the day, if there is any truth to a quote unquote feud between them Olivia Rodrigo has been asked about it quite a few times now doing press for her new album she's adamantly denied it Mm -hmm. um Taylor's never gonna act like there's a problem you know yeah like she publicly she will never act like there's an issue Oh, oh, good for you, Olivia. Yeah, like, yay. yay. You so much at you, you know, like yeah. 100%. There will never be, like, maybe from Olivia's end, there's uh, harder mm-hmm. feelings. I don't know. But Taylor will never, will never show that. Yeah. And sh- why should she? She doesn't eat, like. I was thinking about this last night watching her, and I'm like, does she interact with people in the thought of her head going, I'm Taylor Swift? Like, I saw her go over and like 100%. hug Kelsey Ballerini, Chase Jokes, Lil Nas X, and I'm like, is she thinking to herself like, yeah, I'm Taylor Swift? Probably comes and goes. Like, I'm sure she has some down moments, but I'm mm-hmm. also sure like at an award show that she knows she's winning every award. Yeah, I'm like Taylor she, Swift. Like she's going out yeah. to people and she's like, yeah, I'm strutting my stuff. Yep, I'm blessing you with my presence right yeah, now. Exactly. You are blessed to hug me right now. So we were all blessed with her presence. The award show would have been. Nothing without her. Yeah. Like imagine if she said, mm, "Don't feel like showing up this year." Mm-hmm. They would have they would have given the awards to other people. <laughs> right, which would have been a downer, and nobody would have been paying attention. Yeah. That's that was like the main thing of the night was the the camera on Taylor Swift the whole time. There were a couple other things. 
uh, quickly, Ashanti and Nelly are back together. Back together. After 20 years. <laughs> so, honestly, just happy for them. Like, yeah. these two crazy kids reconnecting in love. I love to see it. Uh, I like... Uh, it's it, It's always seems sweet regardless of any drama or any situation that happened in the past when you are young in a couple and you go through a lot and then you break up, you live your lives and you reconnect. Very J-Lo and Ben Affleck, you know? Right, it's like, oh man, like they really did love each other yeah. but it just wasn't the right, right time. It wasn't the right time. And now they're back. I loved her clutch with their faces on it. was on very it. cute. Yeah. Uh, Ice Spice was sitting next to Taylor Swift for a majority of the night. I thought it was very funny when Taylor Swift was shaking shaking over in sync and Ice Spice was looking at her like what and yeah. you can kind of tell Taylor Swift was looking at Ice Spice like you Look, don't care about this Taylor's a millennial queen we mm-hmm. we know that she and she said it on stage like that that is a massive moment she's Taylor's born in 1989 like that's she's peak in that age range mm-hmm. and for 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 in sync where like that was like your first boy band love I missed it a little bit. Like, I was a little too young. Yeah, I missed it. Where I had the song. Like, I had the CDs. Mm -hmm. The NSYNC album was one of the first CDs I ever had. That and and Britney. To play on my blue boombox. But I wasn't like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with them. And, like, I love them. I like the songs. When did NSYNC come out? Because, like, obviously I know the popular songs. But, like, I think I... I think I was, like, way too young. To, trying to think of to when that like, when that in sync album came out. Oh, okay. Well, they started the NSYNC, in nineteen ninety five. Yeah, but their first album came out in nineteen ninety seven. Okay, so I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the uh, no strings attached. Album. That came out in two thousand. Came out in two thousand. That's the one that I was. That's the one that I was bopping to when mm. I was like six. <laughs> you were six oh, years yeah. old. <laughs> yeah. But you know, like I like I would get the CD, put it in my boom box, play mm-hmm. it, dance around, sing the songs. But I right. wasn't, you know, I certainly wasn't at the age to be like, oh my God. Like, like freaking out. Oh my God, I have oh my a crush God, on like Lance that. Bass, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, but like, you know, it's different. It's Taylor, so Taylor freaked out, but they all reunited for the first time. This has been teased. There's been some rumors about this. There's been some articles about this that they were going to reunite and put out a song for the, excuse my laughter, because it is just, you know, it's random, but funny. For the new Trolls movie, of all things, that's going to get sync back together. It's those damn Trolls. <laughs> those damn Trolls. I mean, it's totally okay to laugh at that. Like, that's crazy. Like, well, out of all things, it's going to be the Trolls movie. Look, Justin Timberlake has a strong tie to the, to the Trolls movie. People love the Trolls movie, I guess. I've never seen it. Uh, can't can't stop the feeling. Uh, right. That's also a troll song, huh? Can't, yeah, that's from the first Trolls, isn't it? Is Trolls have, like, the best that's soundtrack? That's from the soundtrack. It is. It's that was, right? That was made for a movie. That song remember. was made for the first Trolls. Can't stop. Yeah. Double check that. I'm pretty sure. Now I'm just used to it being a wedding song, like played every wedding I'm at. How does Trolls have these connections? Because, tro- like, I think a lot of the artists, <laughs> yeah, the, a lot of the Trolls, a lot of the voices of the Trolls are musicians. Oh, trolls, yeah. like, a really good- is. He's in the movie. He's, is, his character is Branch. Is, is Trolls, like, a really good movie? I can't say I've seen Trolls. Let's see. Guess what you think it got on Rotten Tomatoes? I don't know. 98%. What? I was going to say, like, I'll say 52. Trolls movie. With these bangers, who's who's to say? What yeah, the, exactly. I mean, starring Anna Kendrick, Justin Timberlake, Zoe Deschanel, Russell Brand, 75. James Corden, Gwen Stefani, all people that can sing. Trolls World Tour came out in 2020 and Trolls Band Together 2023 is, and this is like, the whole premise of Trolls uh, Band Together is that they have to like reunite. Hmm. So it's like, you the know, Trolls broke up? The in, in sync. World Tour. Poppy discovers that <laughs> Bran- Poppy discovers that Branch and his four brothers were once part of her favorite boy band. When one of his siblings, Floyd, gets kidnapped by a pair of nefarious villains, Branch and Poppy embark on a harrowing and emotional journey to reunite the other brothers and rescue Floyd from a fate even worse than pop culture obscurity. 
They got to get the band back together. That makes sense. And NSYNC was like, hey, we got to get the band back together for the Trolls movie what a where the band gets back together beautiful so meta story. of them that's beautiful so touches touches yeah the we and we don't we haven't heard the song or anything because they just came out and announced an award presented an award to taylor swift people were excited because they thought maybe there would be a performance now that would have brought the house down mm-hmm. if you got got those five guys out there and they played a new song but then they like did a little bye 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 People would have lost their shit. We need some. We needed something like that last night. A little old timey performance. Yeah, uh, we got Demi Lovato, but that that's like that's great, but not too much of a that throwback. Is certainly not old. <laughs> no, right. I'm saying like we got Demi Lovato singing yeah, yeah, her yeah. older songs, yeah. but like yes, not. She's, Demi's doing them with uh, a rock version of of all of those songs, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Speaking voice of, of our generation, I think. Yep. I think Demi has. Really? Demi's, Demi's voice, voice, is, Demi's voice, voice. is unmatched. I think Miley Cyrus is, is up there too, though. For sure. Miley is a very unique, but I, I think full like vocal range and ability, Demi knocks it out of the park. Mm-hmm. It's crazy they were bottling up all that talent. You know what I mean? Like, like Camp Rock came out, but... They probably came into their own. Underneath yeah, it all yeah. was that beautiful voice. Yep. Uh, speaking of NSYNC, though, this there was... Real, a- this is me. One thing that was a huge help for me this past weekend was Instacart. I didn't have to go anywhere, and I got Instacart delivered directly to my door. I am an avid Instacart user. I use it weekly for my groceries, for other things. I've talked about this. You can get makeup delivered. You can get anything, really, that you need delivered on the stores uh, on Instacart. With delivery via Instacart, you can easily order groceries and other essentials. Instacart helps deliver the order right to your door in as fast as one hour, giving you time to, you know, get Get things done around your house, your apartment, getting to just sit back and relax, whatever it is that you're doing that you can't get to a store, Instacart comes to you. Instacart has a wide selection of grocery stores available nationwide. So no matter where you are, Instacart can help you easily find a local grocery store or other stores that has the items you need and get it delivered fast. Instacart shoppers also shop for you like you would shop for you. Instacart shoppers provide support while they shop, share real-time updates, and deliver your order with care. This is one of my favorite parts about Instacart. The shoppers are always great and they're very uh, communicative. (laughs) Is that a word? (laughs) Is communicative a word? It's a word? Oh my God, I'm keeping this in there then. That threw that out of nowhere. But uh, they they really make sure that if there's something that they can't find, that they are communicating with you and letting you know, oh, I can't find this. Does this work? Do you want a refund? Do you want a replacement? It's really, really good. That's why I love Instacart. Visit instacart.com slash chicks. Get $30 off your first order of $80 or more. And also get free delivery on your first three orders. Minimum $10 per order for free delivery. Offers valid for a limited time. Additional terms do apply. You must be 21 or over if you're going to get alcohol delivered, but you can get it delivered through Instacart. But once again, you must be 21 or over for alcohol delivery where available. Go to instacart.com slash chicks to get $30 off your first order of $80 or more and also get free delivery off your first three orders. There was a weird interaction that people were freaking out about between Meg Thee Stallion and Justin Timberlake backstage. Everyone thought that Meg Thee Stallion was like mad at Justin Timberlake and (laughs) I saw tweets that were like, they were like, what did that nasty man say to make this Italian? It's like, Justin, no, people, Justin Timberlake has this now, I think ever since those videos came out of him, like with that woman, not Jessica Biel a couple of years ago. And the Britney stuff. And the Britney stuff. And people are like, now once beloved Justin no, Timberlake I, everyone is loved now him like, like five years ago no yeah, I, and his like, image has been his, reworked I think that's part of why he decided to come back out with like, NSYNC it was like they can't hate this <laughs> right it's like this nasty man Justin Timberlake which is quite a turn of events yeah and people thought that they that something happened he said something to her that's not what happened apparently justin timberlake you know said something nice to meg the stallion like yeah. nice to meet you nice to meet and you. meg the stallion was like no 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 like we need to meet properly like this is not proper and yeah. like she was just animated when she said it which a lot of people are when they're talking and i think that can be misconstrued yeah. when like you hear nothing and you just see hands like yep. if you see 
if you saw us out to dinner having a conversation and our hands were flying, you may think we're fighting. True. But really, we're just talking. I think it was like her face. She wasn't like smiling. Like. Yeah. So that was another thing. So who knows? But I really think like it got like blown up so fast yeah. and really nothing happened. Right. Where she it just totally like, just seemed like she was probably joking. Right. Exactly. Uh it's just the narrative about Justin Timberlake these days. It's, yeah, it's, it's taken a turn. It has taken a turn, and the tweets were calling him a nasty man yeah. when when nothing happened between them. <laughs> like, I can't help but laugh. It's like, yeah. this nasty man, Justin Timberlake. Yeah, imagine you're Justin Timberlake, and you just say, hey, nice to meet you, and then you check Twitter, and, and, he, and they're like, destroying. he's like, oh, I can't win. Like, I did the whole comeback and then sink, yeah. and I'm still just getting torn apart. Um, yep. Anyways, I think that was the most of it at the VMAs that stood out to me. Obviously, yeah, I was trying you know, to think red if there carpet was any looks other performances. And... Oh, I loved Anita thanking herself. She cracks me up. She won She's her funny. award. She thanked a ton of people, and at the end, she goes, and, I, "And you know what? Thank you to me. Thank you to myself for working hard, doing it, <laughs> like getting here." And I was like, "You know what? Yes, you. We should normalize." Going on stage, winning an award, and thanking yourself. And being because like, you put yourself up right. there and be like, you know what? I want to give kudos to me. Right. And people don't, it's so weird, right? Like when you put yourself down, people are like, oh no, how, how can you put yourself yeah. down? Have confidence in yourself. Come on. And then when somebody has confidence in themselves, it's like, oh, you're so full of yourself. Yeah. Like really, you should women. relax. Right. And it's all, it uh, really always is. And always, it's, yeah. it's so fucking annoying. No, I know. So I just, that was very refreshing and yeah. funny. Like I thought that that was great. She's hilarious. So, like, just to be up there and be like, you know what? I worked really hard and I'm going to thank yep. myself. Right. Good for you. You yeah. should thank yourself. Yep. It's so annoying. It's something that pisses me off these days. It's yeah. like a, a woman can't be confident in herself without somebody being like, oh, my God, she's so full of herself. But then if she goes online and it's like, guys, I'm really feeling down. Everyone's like, no, why would you feel down? It's like, yeah. I don't know, because maybe don't you know. don't let me feel confident in myself. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, I, I was... None of the performance like knocked my socks off. I will say, mm -hmm. like they were good. There was a bunch of really good ones. Um, there was a lot like the the. I kind of wish they didn't do the the hip hop thing, hip hop fiftieth year because it's like they did that at the Grammys. Why did Adam Lambert and Jared Leto introduce the hip hop award? I, I don't know. <laughs> because uh, though I. <laughs> Honestly, the funniest tweets come out of award shows. Like they the definitely do. Like I'm sorry to Selena Gomez, but the memes that come out of award shows will always make yeah. me laugh. And I saw one really funny tweet, and I don't remember the wording exactly about Adam Lambert and Jared Leto. It was like, which producer was tripping when they when they paired Adam Lambert and Jared Leto together to yeah. to introduce an award? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they also uh, there were were not a lot of written jokes or anything like that but you know the writers are on strike so it's like you know you're not gonna have really those those any of those like moments you have to probably that's probably why they had cameras locked on the fucking celebrities the entire yeah. time they're like any moment we're gonna get it's gonna be from one of these one of these people um this but no the hip-hop thing like i was just gonna say like the grammys the grammys did it mm -hmm. and it was awesome yeah the and, grammys and, did it. And it was great there were so many more people and then the vmas just felt like a Right. Like a lower level version of that totally. and it was like mm, maybe just do something just do do something else totally um Shakira was great this video is video vanguard award this is when people like me and you shine no writers baby no it's just me and you no yeah we imagine they were like we need some jokes <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's it is kind of crazy though and now listen obviously like i want these people to get what they deserve really bad like it's it's actually crazy at this point that this is still going on yeah um it's crazy to see though how many people talk show host uh you know like you said at the award shows nobody can come up with their own thing they need them they need the writers yeah and that's why writers are so important. Yeah. But like, yeah. you, not everyone is multi talented, you know. It's just like when people like it's like <laughs> just saying nobody writes our shit, and there yeah. are so many people out there <laughs> that no, I think people know nobody writes. 
<laughs> I think people know nobody buys our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's something we have to announce. <laughs> oh man, no, but it, it's it, it, it it's the award shows are lacking. Like I think Nicki Minaj was technically the host, right? Like I did love she do Nicki anything? Minaj. So do I. But, forever, but and I, she, you know, a while back, a couple of years ago, I want to say 2018, 2019, I had a fresh hot take. Where I said Nicki Minaj over Cardi B, like any day of the yeah. week, I, I don't whatever. Think that's a hot take. N- At the time, was it? At the time. Oh, I guess Cardi was like, you would have thought off. that I said the hottest take on planet Earth. Yeah, yeah. Like, people were like, oh, no fucking way. Cardi B released Bodak Yellow. <laughs> like, Cardi, like, are we just gonna forget? Right now, if now that doesn't feel that whole, crazy in my mind. Like, are we just gonna forget? All of Nicki Minaj's music? Excuse me? No, Excuse ma'am. me? No, no we're not. But a couple of years ago when I said that, I had to like apologize. Like I had I to be- I don't remember this. I said it on Twitter and it oh, was like uh, so crazy. I had yeah. to delete it. Like, <laughs> like it was, like people were so mad about it. And I was like, okay, like what? I just wow. thought- Bizarre. You know? And now I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got that take off. And I'm not to yeah. say that- Cardi B isn't fun and great, but Nicki Minaj's music to me is always going to be better than Cardi B. That's fair. And you're entitled to that opinion. Right. And, and I, don't I don't think listen, it's that crazy anymore now. And listen, I don't I wish I wasn't comparing the two. No. But But it's like it's less comparing the two and more just your taste of Right, Nick, Nicki Minaj is like on a different level of like icon than. It's just like Nicki Minaj is le- everything, the lyrics, everything. But I, and she's, just, and she's been around for I longer. Think, like I, that's you know right. You, but I you, think it was because now I'm like, oh, I wish I wasn't comparing the two. But at the time when I said that, it was very much a discussion where people were like, like Cardi B and Nicki Minaj got into that fight. Yeah, yeah. And it was like yeah. Cardi B is dethroning Nicki Minaj, and it was like, what? Yeah, right. Let's hold off for a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I forgot yeah. they got into that fight at yeah. Oh my god! Now it's all coming back to me because I was like, wait, why was this even a discussion? Yeah. Now it's making sense. Um, my one last oh my the- one <laughs> my one last comment <laughs> is, you know, this this goes back to the Selena Gomez thing where she also d- didn't uh, she didn't really have anything to be upset about. Like the uh, the other funny moment was Chris Brown being nominated, mm-hmm. and she just kind of went oh. And she, yeah, she made a face like, mm. Mm, like she just like made, you know, it was like fa- fine, which fair is fair reaction, a normal reaction to have to Chris fair Brown. reaction where you're just like you don't say anything, you're not you're not stand, you're not making a big scene, but you're just kind of like, mm. what was Chris Brown not made for? Some one of his videos, I don't know. I I'm, I'm just still stuck on the fact that I thought it was like groundbreaking that we don't write our <laughs> stuff. It's like yeah, it's very fucking. Maria clear. comes in with the script. <laughs> oh, today we're gonna act like I don't know how age works. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's pretty fucking yeah. clear. Kelsey Ballerini. I also love Kelsey Ballerini's performance. The 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 white dress mm-hmm. to the smoke to the quick change little black dress. Loved. Great moment. Love a quick costume change. She sounded amazing. Her song, like, loved her last few songs that she's put out. I mean, this whole last album was so good. And, you know, she's just her 30th birthday. I... News, new, breaking news! I still can't get enough of these two. Every single time they post together, so it, war- it just warms my heart. Like, but I, you know, I don't think it's crazy that eventually some people will be like, "Oh, like too much, too much, like whatever." I am not over it. I don't think I ever I will be. Hate when people say that. I know. If you think it's too much, when people are like, I do under like understand like some people say like if if a couple is like overly posting about one another yeah. like it seems like they're hiding something but I also think there's something to say like when you're happy and you want to show off your love and you want to show the cute pictures like I think that I, I think that's really sweet yeah. and I think that people are just bitter and cynical and they want to be a hater and they are jealous of their love and they want to like shit on the two of them because they're really cute and happy and they just want to so act cute. like oh it's PR like Ugh, I'm so sick of everybody thinking that every relationship is PR. Yeah. Let Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet yeah, yes. be happy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. Did you? We didn't talk about the U- 
U.S. Open. Oh, or did we? No, we didn't. But did you see? This is a complete sidetrack. But since you brought that up, did Wait, you see hurts. the post that I reshared on my story like last week? No, I have you muted after the <laughs> after the <laughs> after the Beyonce concert mm-hmm. of this. Timothy Chalamet fan account mm. that was posting like the world was ending. <laughs> like that. it was, <laughs> yeah. it was like call 911, mm-hmm. lock her up <laughs> vibes. Like I was, I was, I was petrified. And yes, everyone was kind of laughing, but it was like laughing, but also kind of scared at the mm-hmm. same time. Because one, she had pictures of herself that she's taking selfies with. Um, him before taking a selfie with him before and Paulina mm-hmm. um, but you know older woman my guess would be 50s 60s like older woman being like our my, my Timothy would never be with a woman like Kylie Jenner like just the posts were un they were calling her a stalker which I thought was absurd because it's like you're the one who has like a fan account no it was it was honestly it was it was insane and that's the level of the internet that I feel like I don't normally see, but because it was reshared by somebody else, I saw it. And I was like, oh my God, this is a, these are the depths mm-hmm. that people go. It's, it's and really this is fucking crazy. It's frightening. And so this reminds me of, I wonder if her Instagram, like you think she had to wait, deactivate, like she went viral. Well, listen to this because I don't know if you saw this the other day. And obviously, this oh, no, is she is active, um, like a sensitive subject, but also at the same time, it goes into the Timothy Chalamet thing. Sleep number smart beds learn how you sleep and provide personalized insights to help you learn to sleep better. Science shows quality sleep helps improve your mental, emotional, physical, and relationship health. So if you're waking up tired, here are some tips to help you sleep your best. Maybe you had a tough workout. The Sleep Number Smart Bed can help you get the quality sleep you need to recover faster and perform at your best. By contouring to your neck, shoulders, back, and hips, the Sleep Number Smart Bed provides support and even weight distribution for more comfortable sleep. Maybe you're a hot sleeper. Sleep experts recommend keeping your bedroom temp 65 to 68 degrees for comfortable sleep. An air conditioner or fan plus temperature balancing sleep number smart beds and bedding can help keep you cool so you both sleep just right. Maybe you disagree on comfort. Eight out of 10 couples prefer a different mattress firmness than their partner. Sleep number smart beds let you choose your ideal firmness on each side and then automatically respond to your individual movements throughout the night to keep you both sleeping comfortably. So sleep next level. Unlock your unique potential with a smart bed that can perform as well as you. And now save $400 on the new Sleep Number C4 smart bed, plus special financing for a limited time. Only at Sleep Number stores or sleepnumber.com. See stores for details. A Timothy Chalamet fan account tweeted on 9-11. You know, it was a tribute to 9-11, but then wrote a story and this kind of like got, got majorly picked up because it was like, why are you saying this? Wrote, in July 2001, I turned down a job opportunity that was located on the 102nd floor of the World Trade Center. Um, and it was basically just like this long paragraph about how this person was offered a job to work there and turned it down. And like, oh, what well, you know, like that you, you get what yeah. I'm saying. It's a Timothy Chalamet fan account. So. You know, this went viral for other reasons because people were like, this is sort of an insensitive tweet to be like, I could have worked there, but didn't like my whatever. Somebody quoted it and was like, wait, if you were offered a job in 2001, how old are you running this Timothy Chalamet fan account? And like the replies were like, oh, she's 57 years old, like whatever. And I'm like, what? Like, sometimes it really hits you. This it woman, really hits you that there are, you think it's like really young people, and it's a mix. There's yeah. a, really young people, yep. but then there's yep. like people in their 50s and their 60s that are that are trolls, that have fan accounts, and it's really because they have nothing fucking better to do with their lives. Yeah, it's just like... Besides, be crazy. I know. About... This- about somebody i know <laughs> like this person reposted like we don't want to date him we just like want 
him to succeed in everything. We just want him to shine. But honestly, the one that was really going viral, which re- like objectively what made everybody laugh and was reshared, and now it has the comments off, but after the video, the TMZ video of them kissing at the Beyonce concert, they posted, if you're feeling distressed by the video, it's okay, but please take care of yourself. <laughs> Step away from social media for a couple of days. <laughs> Don't attack or criticize Timothy. Too much money and time went into publicly harassing him, and it finally paid off for those people. <laughs> and the caption is, deep breaths, this too shall pass. <laughs> I should have posted that when people found out me and Marty were dating. Like, it's, <laughs> it's, if you need to, just take a deep breath. And step yeah. away from the And computer. then after it was like really posted that they were like together, Hey guys, I woke up an extra half hour to see if there were further developments overnight and it does get worse. After, <laughs> after months and months of gossip, media bombardment, gossip speculations, sources from the Ka Jenner camp, her people stalking Timmy's private rev- residence and his obvious avoidance of her has finally paid off and had her primary objective met. Timothy has now played her hand and relented. <laughs> Based on all the DMs I've received, fans are absolutely devastated and disappointed. I don't know what more I can say to alleviate your pain and heart. <laughs> <laughs> Why are people so honestly? This fucking is so weird. wrong I, and so long I can't even read the. Re- for those of you, for, for those of us who know better, stay strong. <laughs> this relentless pursuit of Timothy Chalamet had an end game, and what better way to claim her prize than at a Beyonce concert where half of Hollywood and the media would be there? We stand with you. <laughs> with a special focus on the Ka Jenners and their guests in the VIP stands. That woman has now been redeemed in the eyes of her fans, investors, and the media. She's a brand that needs to be rehabilitated. Whatever type of blackmail or threats she has on Timmy, she stayed the course because her reputation needed to be cleansed by someone like Timothy Chalamet. Oh my God. Yeah. That is there's, incredible. And there's... there's that is just the I beginning fucking of some of the commentary love that, that came from this. <laughs> I love that. It's and it's, I hate it. It's at the same crazy. time. These people are calling it's Kylie Jenner fucking, a stalker. It's right. These crazy. people are calling yeah, God, she's that, a stalker. That is what's nuts. She it's, stalked it's, him until he finally relented to 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 publicly be seen are, with her to help people, remake her image. People are acting like Kylie Jenner had to tie Timothy Chalamet down to date her. And it's also that, and like, and Timothy Chalamet is apparently the king of all, all good, like all that is good in the world. He will save you. He will clean your image. Timothy Chalamet, our savior, our Lord and savior. In the name of the father and son and Timothy Chalamet. It is, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts. Oh my Lord. I mean, this is, you brought up a good point, Noah. Like this is like when, and not. It's, it's so sensitive to bring up, but Selena Gomez, Justin Bieber, Haley Bieber, when they call Haley Bieber a stalker, and it's like, um, yeah. you mean you people that are stalking their entire lives are calling her a stalker? Yeah. Like, let's relax here. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, actually, wait, that borderline is so funny. So scary because I remember too. clicking your story and like kind of like passing by, like, yeah. I was like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Swipe. <laughs> next. Next. No, you look beautiful at that wedding, though. Um, you no, know, but I was like, just you know, in a, in a daze. Yes, so I was yes. just like clicking through everything. And now that like you're we're really focusing on that, like, whoa, yeah, that's a lot to take in, and it it's kind of, it's hilarious, and it and I hope that they find it hilarious. Yeah. Like I hope Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet. Look, I hope that they can laugh at it. And I just also like, hope this their security is, so funny. is, uh, is is locked and ready to go for it. I mean like like that's that's why these people need how do people personal get, security. How do people get to this point where they become so obsessed with a person? I don't know. I don't know. That they don't know. I don't know. That oh my gosh, it's a lot to take in. It's yeah, it's I mean it's dark her. when you go down the path of like what it's, it's it is what led to this right, point. Right. It is it is dark. And it is warm. Yeah. I may follow her. Yeah. Um but yeah that's that's wild. Yeah. That is really, really, really nuts. Sorry, I want to move on to the next topic, but I'm no. really trying to digest that. Mm-hmm. Everybody, stay strong. <laughs> this too shall pass. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Every storm passes. Yeah. Like Take she's, a little break from social media if you need to. <laughs> she's posting like inspirational quotes on her story, like 
<laughs> Bible quotes. It's like, crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, all right. Moving on. Done with the VMAs. Uh, moving on to a little quick little thing. It was Raquel's birthday the other day. She posted a video on Instagram. She left the comments open. She got a, a plenty of nice comments, obviously. Mean comments. Um, yeah, I think people are like trying to help her move on. I mm-hmm. mean, it's always going to be a mix, but there's also... People trying to be like, all right, let's let her live her life, you know? Right. So Sandoval took it upon himself to comment on Raquel's birthday post. Happy birthday, Rachel. I really hope you're finding peace and happiness. Miss you, friend. What a piece of shit. God, he's just... This is a thing. He's like a little bug you're trying to swat away. And like, (laughs) if you're Rachel... Are you calling her Rachel now? I don't know. I don't know. She wants to be called Rachel, doesn't she? I'm so confused. <laughs> like, does she not want to be called Rachel? I think so, but I just, like, I feel weird calling her Rachel when, like, we've known her as Raquel. I know, and look, her, her Instagram handle is Raquel. I'm but acting her like we know her personally. name is Rachel. She changed it and to Rachel. And the fact that Sandoval commented, Rachel, like, go away. I just really, like... And if you're... This is what I'm saying. If you're her, you're like, this is so annoying because you're trying to, like, move on and get past this and like move on with your life and honestly Sandoval is probably fucking holding on to this scandal to milk it for as long as he can so people keep still talk about him and he's like oh you know what you know what I'll do I'll comment on this post that's how you know he's a psychopath yeah because I mean there are other things to you know conclude that he's a psychopath but him commenting yeah. on her birthday post Miss you friend is psychotic yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. That is insane behavior. Yeah, it is. I have so much energy. I don't know if you, we've realized. Um, My takes are he flying blo- She today. blocked him. She blocked him and she wrote, okay, bye, on her Instagram story. Yeah. Which is for the best. Right. He should be blocked. He should be blocked. She also knew people would like that. Yeah. Whatever. So done. So yeah. done with this whole thing. Yeah. Um, moving on. Okay. Dancing with the Stars Dancing cast. Dancing with the Stars. Big, big, ooh, big reveal. Ooh, ooh, Honestly, ooh. I will say not um, last season's cast moved the needle for me a little bit more than this Tickled one. Tickled your fancy a little That's bit That's okay. More. I mean, obviously I'm invested. I always am. But we've known that we knew Charity. We knew Ariana. We knew um, Jamie Lynn Spears was announced yesterday. Like, give it a fucking rest, Jamie Lynn. <laughs> Look, Jamie, I, I kind of fall in the camp of like, Jamie Lynn's gonna do these reality shows, you know? Like, oh, breaking, like, that reveal was not a shocking reveal to me. Yeah, oh, Jamie Lynn is pining for some more attention. Right. Shocking. Or just wants to, public sympathy, you know? Yeah, oh. But the cast is Jason Mraz, I'm yours, yours. Mira Servino, um, Soshi Gomez, mm-hmm. Marvel Universe, Adrian Peterson. Less athletes. Normally, there's a couple more athletes, like a basketball player, football player, whatever. Just Adrian Peterson. You know who I'm shocked is not on this, actually, now that you mentioned athletes? Travis Kelsey's mom. (laughs) Donna? Donna Kelsey would eat up being on Dancing with the Stars. Honestly, they should have asked I'm shocked she wasn't pining for that spot. Um, Lele Pons. Jamie Lynn Spears, Tyson Beckford, Harry Jousey, another guy that I think will, you know, you put him on a show, he will say yes. Right. Uh, Ariana, Mauricio. There were some rumors that Mauricio was going to be on this season of Dancing with the Stars. This does not help me think that uh, he he and Kyle are moving in the right direction. Mm -hmm. He's headed to Dancing with the Stars. Um Allison Hannigan from How I Met Your Mother. American Pie. American Pie. Matt Walsh from Veep. And Barry Williams, who is uh, Greg Brady from Brady. The Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch, for those the that Brady don't know. The Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch. And that's the cast. So like I said, meh. Right. There are a couple. Like, there's a couple that I'm in, 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 interested in, but not as spicy. As mm-hmm. as usual, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe because like Ariana 
was announced already. Charity, I'm super excited for, but you know, nothing new for the Bachelorette or Bachelor to be on Dance with the Stars. So there wasn't anybody that like really grabbed me or like a big. Like Charlie doing it was ba- was huge to me. Right. I thought Charlie and Heidi together, yeah. and mother like it, mother daughter exactly. combo, and it brought in like a younger audience. This is like I don't know, right? I'm like, mm. mm-hmm. I'll be watching, but I'm not quite sure really I'm, who my fr- who I'm rooting for I'm heavily like, from the beginning. Def- Charity for sure, yeah. Ariana for sure. I'm always interested in Dancing with the Stars, but like from a drama person, people on the show point of view, like yeah, yeah, yeah. who's winning, you you update me on. And I always end up voting in the final. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if I'll be tuning in week to week, but I, I'm always interested every year in like who's yeah. on it. Sharna who is not on this season, but she just came out with the podcast and she was like kind of spilling some tea that like some executive producer that's no longer there, but was there like didn't uh after she had won her season didn't ask her back and then she came back and they were really pushing her and brian austin green's like relationship they wanted Mm -hmm. like more drama and that's not like what they wanted to show and then they were quickly eliminated and that when she came back to the show she didn't say his name but it was like obvious because she was like oh when i came back i had a partner that was like really difficult jesse metcalf (laughs) which is so (sighs) jesse metcalf like, don't you feel like he should have been more famous than he ended up being? Maybe, maybe he's, he's maybe he's root. Like, you know, I feel like I've heard a couple stories of him. Like, so like if, if Sharn is saying he was so difficult to work with, maybe he's difficult to work right. with. And those people sometimes they don't they don't climb the ladder. So he's in Desperate Housewives. Yes, I uh, yes. And please watch. Hmm. Please, I do want to watch. Please watch. Uh, but yeah, it'll be uh, fun to see this season yeah, unfold. Definitely. Everybody loves a good shaving routine. You know, that that shower where you go in there and you're like, I'm going to take an, a really, really good shower. I'm going to wash my hair really well, shampoo and condition. But most importantly, I'm going to shave my body top to bottom really well with a really good razor. And... You need a really good razor to do all of that. That's where Athena Club can help you out. Athena Club has the best razor out there. Shaving used to be something that people dreaded. They're like, oh man, I got to shave. But when you have Athena Club, you get excited to shave because you know the quality that is coming your way. The Athena Club razors have a really great um, blade system. They're water-activated serum on Athena Club. Athena Club razors and there's just enough of it to soothe while shaving but it doesn't get clunky or gunky on the blade. After the first few shaves with my old razor it just never shaved as well as an Athena Club razor does. I think we all know that. You get a new razor you think it's going to do well. After a few shaves you're like "Mm, this isn't working for me. Athena Club will work and since switching, I've gotten zero razor bumps, which is awesome, and everybody wishes for that. Designed with the built-in skin guard to help prevent razor burn while being gentle on curves, plus the razor blade is surrounded by water-activated serum like I just talked about, and the best part is the kit is only $10 and comes with two blade heads and a magnetic hook for shower storage and your choice of the color. And with Athena Club, you never have to think about blade refills because you choose how often you want your replacement blades shipped to you and you can now find them in Target stores nationwide. So it's easy to swing by one of the many Target stores wherever you are and you need more blades. Switch to the better razor and show your skin you care with Athena Club. Get started today by shopping in-store at Target stores nationwide. Just head to the shaving aisle to find a raisin kit, the cloud shave foam, wax strips, and razor refills, or go to athenaclub.com, check it out, or in-store at Target. Last topic, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Apparently, allegedly, they have been quietly hanging out. Now, this was first reported on the this website called The, the Messenger, Messenger, which yep. I have not heard of. But apparently, we got a DM from Chicks in the Office that it was like somebody, the ex-editor-in-chief of People who like started The Messenger. Yeah, I, I, did, uh, I did fact check that one. The Messenger was founded by... A guy named Jimmy Finkelstein. 
Finkelstein, Finkelstein. He was the former owner of The Hill, which was a, a newspaper website based in D.C. He then became, after he, after he sold that, he started The Messenger and the former editor-in-chief of People, Dan Wakeford, serves as The Messenger's editor-in-chief. I guess I think you know as a currently or when the when it started. Yeah. So people are using that as a way to say that this is credible, but I don't know. I I I feel like the universe, not the universe, but like the general public just like really wants this mm-hmm. and people are really pushing for it and you know who's pushing for it? My sister. No, Donna Kelsey. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Fucking Donna is is pushing this out there like you wouldn't believe. Donna, you know, <laughs> Donna did one interview and you were like, "This woman is fame hungry," <laughs> and and you know she's a sweet lady. No, I know she is. It's just funny. It's just funny. Um, but she, um, no, I, I don't know about this. I just, I just, I don't know about this one. Travis has made it very clear. He's made jokes. He's made commentary. You know he. He told a story on his podcast how he went to the show and was hoping he would get to like go backstage and you know the whole thing. Mm-hmm. So clearly, he's trying to or he's put he's putting that energy out there. Right. He like tried getting her his number to her. It didn't yeah. happen. And then on his podcast with his brother, they you know were talking about him being in New York and his brother was like, "What'd you do there?" He was coy about it. He didn't want to talk about it too much. They've talked about Taylor a little bit and then they stopped talking about Taylor. And then on the last episode, he wore a John Mayer t shirt. Yeah. So everyone's like, hmm, "This is interesting. Maybe he's just a fan of John Mayer and isn't really putting two and two together, or it's like some right. sort of sign of right." Like I don't know how. I don't know how well versed Travis Kelsey is in Taylor's dating history. I feel like everyone knows about John Mayer and Taylor Swift. (laughs) I would bet you there's a lot of people that don't. I would bet that there are some people out there that don't. Yeah. I just don't see this. Like, I don't... I don't... Would I support it? Yes. But I'm like... I like the profile. Like, I don't know if I like Travis Kelsey particularly, like, Mm -hmm. the person... But I like the profile of like an athlete for her. Right. It's just, I mean, really though, like I do, don't I trust do. be fun athletes to see her at, games. I do. at all. I don't fucking trust athletes. That I don't mm. I don't know if I want Taylor Swift with an just athlete. All athletes. I don't really trust them. I I think they're dogs. I I I think athletes. <laughs> oh man. I think I'm sorry think, to all the family men out there that are athletes. Yeah. You know how many athletes exist? No, not yeah. like that. Sorry. Like <laughs> Trust I male think, athletes, I are think a lot of no, young I think I think a lot of young po- young popular athletes professional first year like athletes I'm not are, talking about athletes like oh you played baseball like I'm talking about professional athletes No I I know like, I'm, I, I'm, I hope I, yes. like that was clear what was you said uh, all the athletes No just athletes. like like yeah it's a broad like No I sorry like, I meant like it is a very po- very popular yeah. professional athletes that think they're really really cool like Travis Kelsey does I don't necessarily trust <laughs> Right I know I, I look that's fair I think um do I? They're fun, nice people, but like in relationships. Did you see like uh, the supposed I don't details mind. about Travis Kelsey's last relationship. Did you see anything about that? I actually saw it from a jacket. About him video. talking about like she's like about the paying thing. Yeah, that was that went viral like while okay. they were still dating. Like, yeah. like basically he doesn't pay for everything. Like he made her split everything with she, her to yeah. prove that she wasn't in it for the money. Right, and then like people were like, all right millionaire football yeah, player. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I can see, like, both sides of this. Not that, not necessarily that, but, like, the side of, like, being an athlete, you get that reputation mm-hmm. of being, like, a player and, and a prof- professional athlete. And probably if you start dating, like, and you seriously want to settle down with somebody, there's a lot of people that are, are that would want to date you solely because... Right. You are an athlete. And that's why I'm like in a Taylor Swift position, she doesn't need somebody because of their fame or their money or anything. Mm-hmm. Like that's not something that she needs. But there's probably a lot of people that would look at Travis Kelsey and be like, ooh, that's that guy. He's got all the fame. He's got all the money, like the whole thing. 
and you're you want maybe he's just looking for a genuine connection. My my feeling too was more like when have these two had time to hang out? Like right, football he's season traveling every starting. Week. She's traveling he's, every week. I mean, he's been he, he didn't play in the first game, but like training camp preseason like all these things she's on tour there like when have these two found time to to connect and hang out yeah i don't know and maybe they were both in new york city at a certain time and that's yeah. when they secretly hung out maybe they hung says. out one time right maybe they maybe they were in a party setting and talked one time yeah yeah i don't know i'm kind of shocked that you guys are and i guess that was a broad statement it was just more like Shocking, like the I athletes didn't think, are dogs. I don't think that's shocking. Like I think no, that's it's like not a, a, a like a people. It's not. It's not shocking at would all. Would agree with that? No, it's not. It's not shocking at all. I, you know me, I shy away from like. Uh, it's a big generaliz- generalization. You can like, say that about at, artists. Professional too. athletes are dogs. It's like well, you, well, yeah, but there's you know, I'm sure there's also a a, a decent amount that are love their wives and are respectful. <laughs> I yeah. You know? There are, you know, there's some out there. There's some out there for sure. Not you all, see, not like, all of them you are see the same. My my, my girl, uh, Allison on yes. uh, on TikTok. They're very sweet. Like you know, yeah. I trust Isaac. I trust Isaac too. So I, I think the, I think there's some out there that are 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 You're doing right. the right thing. You're right. But I'm wrong. I, it's, no, not it's not a general it's, statement. It's not. I understand what you're saying. There's a lot of dudes, especially in their young 20s, that go pro and think that they are the fucking right. king of the world. That is more of what I meant. When yeah. I, I don't mean all, and I guess you really have to like emphasize these things when you're speaking about stuff sometimes. Yeah. I don't mean all professional athletes. I just mean a lot of them. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think... I think that's fair. I think, I think it's that's fair, fair too. So I don't know. I, I don't like this. Uh, if this did come to fruition, I don't think it's so crazy because I'm. I feel like I'm so used to celebrities manifesting relationships because it's like, oh, if you have a crush on somebody and you're famous enough, you can just put it out there in the world and and it you and the connections made because mm-hmm. you're both very famous. So it's like I'm sure that that word got to Taylor Swift of him saying all this stuff and maybe she was like. Why the hell not? At this point in my life, right? So, like, why not? Why not have a little fun? If there was a time Maddie for Taylor Gilly, Swift to so. date a guy yeah. like Travis Kelsey, it would be ha- it would happen mm-hmm. now. I think so. Maybe, maybe we'll see. But I'm not. I'm not like fully not thinking totally that sold. this is like oh they're dating. I bet yeah. the NFL's praying for this. Like that would be <laughs> such good publicity. Yeah, it would. It would. Does the NFL need publicity? No, it no, they don't. Doesn't. But like the fact <laughs> that to have Taylor Swift like, at games and stuff. Taylor Swift's like, not going to a game. If she was dating him, yes, she would. No, she would. She'd sit in the box. She goes like, in a box. If they were like seriously dating, like yeah, yeah, seriously dating. Like they, I don't think that these two. Like are if the gonna... Chiefs are in the Super Bowl, I think she'd show up and watch it. Like, yeah, yeah, the going, Super Bowl. She showed like, up. I don't the, think she's the the she's big not playoff wearing, like, and like Super Bowl games. Yeah, yeah, she's not like wearing her her bedazzled wag jacket yes. God, to every her game. And, and Mama Kelsey <laughs> in the box. <laughs> well, people were saying like Donna Kelsey and Taylor Swift's mom would be like best like really good friends and i'm like yeah. you know what i could see that too actually it's similar vibes yeah. from them um but anyways yeah listen i support it if it's happening yeah. but i just don't 100 percent believe it i agree so we'll see anyways that wraps up the topics for today and thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> that's all folks <laughs> i wish i had a carrot I just hit you with it. I, know. I just hit you with a timer. I know. I, that, a, I have a doctor's It appointment. was actually an awkward wrap up just because Fran hit me with a clock uh, signal on her wrist. I'm really And therefore trying. I was like, all right, I guess I have to, I have to wrap I'm this really up. I'm really trying to you, not be late to this doctor's appointment. If you leave and I just keep talking, that'd be you a could. I, I bet you by the time I came back from my doctor's appointment, you'd still be going. I have so much to say, but I'll save it for the next episode. All don't right. worry. We'll record no, it tomorrow. Don't worry. <laughs> we come at you three times a week. Yep. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys and we will talk to you on Friday.